As human beings, we are really so simple, and that simplicity is really pure gold. That's what I found when I met this training, that I could really find a support system where I could give up my endless trying to mentally understand everything, understand myself, understand the reality, mentally understand what was my role in the world, you know, all this mentally understanding all the time. Just that in itself to find just that I could relax all of that had made a huge contribution to the empowerment of my life, I would say. So when I came to an open meeting, maybe this is your first open meeting, and the trainer said that you don't need to understand anything we say, you don't even need to remember it. I just couldn't understand that, <laughs> basically. But what happened was that I... I just really tested what they said, that just by showing up here and just really see that all that we share, all the, the, our life experience, is a guide for you to really take this training directly to your own experience. Nothing to remember, but really just to be able to check for yourself directly in your own life if there is something about you right now that's completely stable, completely open, completely vast. Something that don't care about what type of thoughts you're having right now, what type of emotions you're having right now. It's all the time something going on, physically, mentally, emotionally, always something going on. It's dynamic energy. In this training, we just call it data, data streams. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just who you are in this moment. Something is going on. And as a human being, you actually have only one choice, only one decision to make in every moment. That is, should I treat this data the old way that I have always treated them by trying to understand them, trying to understand why do I think like this, why do I feel like this, why is he and she thinking like, you know, all this understanding, analyzing, describing. So of course in any moment we can decide to go on like that, that we have done for generations. Losing our beautiful life force and energy into descriptions, into analysis. So we can do that right now, or we can test something else. We can test right now to relax in a short moment, just relax all the descriptions, all the habits, all the things you really want to do with the data, just test if it's safe to let them flow on by, not describing them, nothing. And then you see, you have immediate access to that stable quality that we in this training call open intelligence. This open intelligence is who you are, and it's including all your data. All the thoughts, all the emotions, all this dynamic energy is just open intelligence that's expressing itself. It's you expressing yourself. And for the first time now, you find a safety zone to just be free to express yourself naturally. And that is your true talent in life. I've come to see that my my true talent in life is truly to let myself be as I am. And not more pressure on talents looking a certain way. I have to look a certain way. I have to achieve something special now. Because now I'm open intelligence. Now I, you know, it's just going on into that old way of living then. So my greatest talent in life at the moment is just training up my ability to let myself be as I am, and therefore letting everyone be as, as they are. And from there I discover so many gifts, strengths and talents to be of service, to be of benefit, to create beneficial solutions, and move beyond all the problem descriptions. A whole lifetime of focusing on problems, because that was what we were doing together. Instead of just seeing that in every situation we have in life, there isn't any problem there. There could be a description of a problem or it could be that one simple choice 
of letting all the information you have available in this moment just be as they are, let them flow on by and see there that it's possible when you do that to instinctively know what to do, what to, say, what to say, what to decide. Because we are so powerful as human beings. We are so beneficial as human beings. We can trust that. and We don't need to figure it out. But where we are in human history, we need that support to really learn to trust ourselves as we are. To trust that instinctive knowing that we, we all house. We all know how to be beneficial human beings and that's all we want. It's truly all we want. Even if, if we say something that, you know, is not like what we wanted to say. We say something out of habit. Maybe we act on fears. We can act on desire, we can act on anger, we can act on so many of these data because we don't have the ability to let them be as they are, we just act on them because we didn't have a training to really see that it's possible. Because I thought if I, if I didn't went on the old way of living life, if I didn't indulge my data, if I didn't describe them, if I didn't replace them, if I didn't go in there and micromanage, I would lose control of life. I would lose control of myself. I wouldn't be able to, to, to relate. I wouldn't be able to act in the world. It had to be controlled in that way. How would I ever know if I never tested? So in this training, you're really asked to test this. And we have only one single instruction. It's only one instruction. And that is short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous. So open intelligence is already continuous, but your recognition of it, that it is already so, that's what comes continuous. You can rely on that stable ground, which is who you truly are as a human being. So every short moment you take a test, you can try the whole today, in all situations, whenever you remember. Whenever you test that, you reset yourself back to your original as a human being, your original dignity and benefit. It's a reset button. It's like every time you test that short moment, it's like a, a, a light switch. The light goes on and you see everything clearly. You see beyond your habits of reacting. And it, it's, it's just, I just don't know how we, how we <laughs> miss that simplicity of life. Now I really know and I am so ever grateful that I now have a complete support system that supports me to, to just test these short moments. I will test it for the rest of my life because we don't have a destination where we are, you know, on a final stage of short moments because your life is an endless long short moment of pure openness. Openness, ready to go, ready to serve. And life becomes simpler and simpler and so much more fun. Fun and simple meets feeling completely afflicted. We don't know what data will happen. I fall in the stairs the other day. I didn't plan that. It wasn't fun. But it was a perfect opportunity because what, wherever you are, you are, right? So you just have the situations in life. And, and there, should I be a victim to this? Go into analyzing, describing, why me? Oh no, this was totally wrong timing. No, 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 you know. It doesn't change my state of injury. So I'm finished with it. And I ask anyone to test on and say, I give up that right to be a victim of my circumstances, or my thoughts, of my emotions, or anything. Give up that right. Cut it. In a short moment, cut it and see what's available. Because all the data is an unpredictable flow. And we know that, right? Instinctively, we know we never had any chance to control this life. But we still want to hold on to that belief system. But we cannot control over data. It's an illusion. Many times I really thought I had full control in life and that I had, I had a special ability to control my life. It was an idea. It wasn't true. 
So, so you know, in a short moment, you really get real with reality. So you tap into that open intelligence, which is like a crystal ball. It's a pure quality. It's you as a crystal ball, open, ready to reflect and experience reality as it is. The crystal ball doesn't go in and change reality. It simply is open, free, to reflect everything as it is. So when you do that, your energy is then left to completely serve that situation because you don't waste it into describing, into trying to change the reflection in the crystal ball. The energy is not lost into that game anymore. And when I was introduced to this training, I really realized how much energy I had used in that. So much energy. So, so much energy. So decision making was one of the, the biggest for me. Because I saw many decisions in my life and I started to take short moments. I discovered one habit of mine that I, I even hadn't, uh, like it wasn't open to me before. I didn't even see it. I had so many fears of not knowing, so I made sure to make so many decisions all the time because I couldn't stand not knowing. Not knowing the direction, not knowing what to do, so I just made decisions, widely. So good at it, I achieved so many things, so many years at university, so many exciting jobs, da -da -da, all over the world, da -da 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 -da, doing, doing, doing. So safe, so fun, but I fooled myself. So in this training, it has humbled me into pure reality, and that's the freedom. Because to really face yourself nakedly, that's where we can be free. That's where we can test. And then I saw, oh wow, it's so comfortable to have some space to not know. I mean, decisions will happen anyway. I can make a decision, I go out of this room because I feel uncomfortable. I'm more than my data, and I'm more than my uncomfortableness. I don't operate on that level anymore. I resigned. <laughs> I resigned completely from that. And whenever I see I'm into some kind of descriptions again, short moments. Back in business, the short moments. And it's so simple. That's the only thing we do here. It's the only thing we do. And, and the support system is an education, the four mainstays that you hear about. That's the only thing you can remember, really, because that's where you practice to let all your experiences be as it is. Just not like nature's intelligence. You are part of nature. You are nature. You are that open intelligence. All other thoughts about that, all other ideas about that is learned through generations. And now we really open up to see it's not needed to live life, life like that. So we Take that one single instruction, which is the first mainstay. Repeat it. And come back, ask questions about it. Ask questions about situations in your life where you feel you don't want to see it as open intelligence. You want still to hang on to some ideas and descriptions about that situation. Come here and ask questions. And we are so happy to share our own experience. And then we all have a trainer. It's an amazing system. A body system. We support each other, that's all we do. Because we are some human beings here that have tested this, that pioneered this for some years now. Short moments, short moments, short moments. Resetting ourselves, resetting ourselves to that pure dignity of life, that pure benefit. And it's going very well, it works. It works in the sense of feeling fully alive, feeling fully prepared for everything in life, even death. It works in, in being completely available to see how you can support another human being, or many, and yourself. And yourself is included. So it's not like now we become those that only think about other and we forget ourselves, because before I was in dualistic thinking about it, it was either or. Everything was black and white, either or. It's not like that in reality. And then the third main stage is all the media. So there you have a complete education program you can design completely to your own life circumstance. If you are a mother or a father and you have small children at home, you do trainings in the evening, online. So 
so many, many, many trainings and, and clarity calls. We're reading books together. We're just supporting each other. It's a grassroots movement and we only are here to support each other, to flourish naturally, to see that we are perfect as we are, truly and really. So that's the fourth mainstay, the community of people all over the world that only, only wish you the best with no hidden agenda about that. No hidden agenda. I were in so many situations before in life, workplace, friends, whatever. So many hidden agendas. It looked so great and then suddenly something came because someone reacted out of fear of rejection, hunting for love, you know, all those data. So all these things that I thought was flowing on so nicely and suddenly it was all these hidden agendas coming. Now we see that our true power is in all circumstances. In all circumstances in life. There isn't any, any circumstance that is not possible to test a short moment in. And I can only, only sign it with my own experience. Because I couldn't even speak a word if it wasn't totally rooted in my own experience. So I can end with a test I did one time of a certain afflictive state that I thought, there is no way I can stop analyzing this. There is no way I can stop being a victim to this state, which was complete meaninglessness, wanting to die, feeling jealous, you know, full on everything, all afflictions at one time. And I thought, okay, they say test it in all circumstances and I'm ready now, okay, let me see, what can I do? And I'm now fully crying, I'm completely into a story here, completely a victim to a circumstance. I could, you know, first of all, I could acknowledge I was a victim. I didn't give up the right, I were holding on to a victimhood. Okay, short moment, let's see. Free immediately. Tears, hot water, I mean, nothing there. Full energy, no descriptions around the circumstance. Nothing to be stopped, no tears to be stopped, nothing to be done anything with, just full relaxation, leaving the experience as it is. That's the simplicity of life. Nothing special, but yet so special so pure and so powerful to discover your true beneficial power in that short moment in every circumstance you decide for your own life to test it no one can test it for you you can only be open to be inspired and to test it and share with us how it goes and in that way we are changing the world finally changing the world from within from within every datum that just opens up to its beneficial potency or pure benefit for all. <laughs>